we have already talked about if functions and we have already talked about business data feeds. Well, now I wanna talk about another ad customizer and those are countdowns. You've probably seen it known as like the ticking clock. You see an ad and it says only a couple days left until the sales ends. Well, we can use that within our search ads within Google Ads. I'm gonna show you how you can set up countdowns within the platform and how easy it is to build some urgency and try to get more clicks to your website, especially if you're running a sale. Today's video is brought to you by Shape, an all-in-one PVC budgeting solution that will allow you to control, organize, and collaborate on ad spend at scale. You ready to start saving some time? Good. Well, then click on the link below and you can learn all about Shape. Once you are in your ad group, just start creating a new ad. In this example, we already have our website entered. Now let's get our first headline out of the way. Here I'm just trying to grab some attention, letting people know I'm running the biggest shoe sale ever. And I wanna add an additional component that's gonna capture people's attention and hopefully drive more clicks. In the second headline, I wanna let users know how much time is left in this sale before all the deals are gone. And that is where the countdown feature comes in. So to start any ad customizer, use the opening curly brace. And then we wanna choose countdown. First you can select when the countdown is going to end. In this example, I'm just gonna choose a week out from today. And if I want to, I can even choose the hour. And Google gives you the heads up that the hour needs to be chosen in a 24 hour time. I want my countdown feature to end on January 18th at 11 p.m. Next, you have to let Google Ads know when you want the countdown to start. As you can see, by default, countdowns will start five days before the end date. You can choose to increase the amount or even bring it down to less than that. Look at your product and what you're trying to sell and the user's intent. Is there really an urgency to buy a product 10 days out from when the sale ends? If the product is that popular, yes, it may be worthwhile. Sometimes you may need to shorten that down to just a couple days. It's completely up to you. You're probably seeing in the example on the side, it just says five hours. This is just a preview of what it could look like, depending on what the time is. Every time I look at testing out a countdown feature, the preview just shows you an example of what it could look like, not necessarily what it exactly is right now. Next, you get to choose the time zone for the countdown. Now by default, Google's gonna select the ad viewer's time zone, which in the syntax is just the basic countdown feature. So this counts down to a specific time that is adjusted to the time zone of the user who is searching and sees your ad. If we switch it to an account time zone, you see the syntax changes to global countdown. This will be the global time consistent with the time zone that you used when you set up your account. In my example, it's central time. So with a global countdown, if the user sees the ad in Eastern time and it says three days until the countdown ends or three days until the sale ends, someone in Pacific time zone will also see three days until the sale ends. And the ad that the user sees is gonna be completely dependent on your time zone. If you want someone on the Pacific Coast to see a different countdown than someone on the East Coast, depending on when the sale actually ends, you'll wanna stick with the ad viewer's time zone. And then you can select your language. By default, it's gonna choose your account language, but you do have the option to switch it up if you choose. If everything looks good, you can just click apply. And then after that, if you wanna add the additional third headline, Go ahead, you'll need your description, the optional second description, and then you can save your ad. The countdown function will go by day, and then if it's less than 24 hours, it'll go by the hour, and then if it's less than an hour until the countdown feature ends, it'll go by the minute. And countdown features work in any text ad. I've even used countdown features in my description lines for DSA ads where we don't have control over the headlines at all. So whether you wanna do something fun around a big sale, a holiday, a special event, or you just wanna test out new ad copy that you think some of your competitors may not be able to replicate, give countdown features a try. You may even find success utilizing these with the if functions or the other business data features that we talked about in previous ad examples. I've seen in previous experience using these for sales, if you're capturing the user in the right moment at the right time, this does increase click the rates and I have seen an increase in conversion rates as well. So give it a shot and let us know in the comments how you've seen it work for you. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.